Welcome to the High Tech Investments News Report for Week 37. The news report covers some of the many investments projects High Tech Investments is currently involved in so you can follow our progress. We hope you will enjoy this news feed and look forward to your comments and remarks. Hi, Bo here and welcome back to this week's news report that has plenty of action. So if you want a cup of coffee or you want a cup of tea, whatever it is to your liking, I suggest you go and get that one because we have quite a lot of things crammed into this week's news report. Yield notes has come out, so explaining a bit more on what happened with the Decenemy coin. So the Sapphire coin here and what's has also come out and uh, there has been some sharing on what yield notes is up to in the uh, coming months and next year. On top of this, so we also had uh, the CEO, Referil, uh, from Elevate Pass, and he has also made a video this week, so showing you how you can make some extra profits here at the moment. And then on top of that, uh, a long uh, project that we have uh, gone through in the last couple of months with Expert Forex, the copy trading service is actually now live, it is working. So obviously we're gonna have a look at that too. The uh, Robots has also made some uh, good progress this week with uh, even more profit, but we also have one of them that has crashed this week. We're going to have a look at it all. So let's get started and let's get started here with the yield notes program. So first week of uh, September was 1%. Second week here is 1.2. So definitely it's going in the right direction and uh, we can only hope that we're going to end up again around the 6-7% mark. That will be uh, great. If we have a quick look at the chart and how it has developed, uh, we can see here that we are lying straight in the middle. So um, ever since May, the second week has produced somewhere between 0.8 to 1.4%. And with the 1.2, we are basically straight in the middle, very average for the uh, week. And now we mentioned a bit about the Sapphire announcements. There's been a lot of communication on this on the Telegram apps, and I just wanted to share a few things with you here. So this was uh, earlier this week where it came out from the uh, Sapphire uh, group. It says, good morning, dear Decenemy friends. Uh, we have some hard days and uh, had to defend ourselves against a major attack on all levels. We have stabilized the SAP with your help and can even uh, see a nice racing trend again. And we definitely can see that. So we will show you that also a bit later in the program. The yield notes and the SAP community has shown a lot of strengths. Thank you very much for that. So this was what we already mentioned in the last couple of weeks where we saw there was serious attacks on it. And on top of that, they have now again come out and Uots has also um, been having a closer look at what is actually happened. And their research confirms that uh, they were attacked by a large group of DeFi supporters. And obviously it shows that they were trying to uh, do some dumping action, targeting information by spreading through various channels uh, that yield notes is a scam. And obviously we have heard quite a bit of this. So from various people being very concerned all of a sudden, and obviously they've been trying to stabilize uh, yield notes in order to make uh, an extra buck. So on the positive note from Yield Notes this week, they say we have another project it's currently preparing the uh, Sly Hit, a new type of auction. And this is part of what we saw uh, when we did the audit together with Yield Notes. We were presented with some slides here and uh, how this would most probably work. So the application is basically done. I know they've done some testing on it already. Now they're just clarifying legal issues and then they will uh, launch that at one point. Now the good part here is the Sly Hit was gonna use the 777 coin and the uh, KYAN Kane coin, so will be used. So we're gonna take a closer look at these two coins just to see where they are at the moment. And as you can see, they've been following many of the other coins and obviously a lot of the crypto. So the jackpot um, has been uh, going down and this might be a great opportunity to actually go in. So before the project itself, uh, hopefully we'll uh, make sure that the coin is going forward. If you are getting paid in uh, the jackpot uh, 777 or if you go into the uh, KYAN, you will also see that that one has also taken a bit of a dip. So it might be a good time to get in and actually um, get a bit of profit out of this one. 
The last part that we also wanted to show you here is the app that a lot of people thought was actually up. A lot of people have downloaded several apps. They are all scams. We have to tell you that straight away. The only place that this uh, app will be released from what we understand here is through the um, yield notes platform so make sure that you don't download anything else there will be an email out from steve the ceo once this is ready we believe it will be next week that's at least the indication that we have and these are just um, screenshots so from that particular app so that's another way of uh, using it if you don't want to sit down with your normal laptop or uh, normally desktop so let's get started let's see exactly what has happened with the sap coin and if we have a closer look, we can see that it's pretty stable still. Uh, the return on the investment per year, if you did the shared masternoding, it's only down by a half a percent. So not too bad. And then the shared masternoding overall, we have seen a good development. Again, 1.7% for this particular week. Overall coin development, well, we had a massive hit. And don't forget, we were almost at 700% at one point before the crypto winter hit. Uh, last week was the all-time low here for our SAP coins at 213%. And after yield notes has now gone in again and uh, taken control, we can see it's up at 308%. So we are obviously far from the all-time high, but definitely this is a good development. And if we have a look at it, you can see how it has been dropping in the last couple of weeks. And the last part, we can now see there's a bit of a recovery phase and we hope that's going to continue in the weeks and months to come. Having a look at the PNY, we can see that that is also fairly stable on the return on the investment per year. So we can see there's a slight improvement of about, um, what is that, uh, almost 2%, one and a half, two percent 2% here. And that has also, again, been fairly stable over the last uh, many weeks. The shared master noting is going quite well. This week, again, we got about uh, 14%. But overall coin development is still going in the wrong direction. We lost another 4% about this week. And that is due to the graph. It looks like this. We hope that it's going to reach the bottom very, very soon. But obviously, uh, only time will tell here. The one that are doing quite well is Axie Buy or Buyrack. And we can see the return on the investment in the last week has skyrocketed from 87 up to 125% again. And that obviously gives us some extra percentage also on the shared master noting. And in this particular case, uh, we have more than 3%. So um, that is good news. And overall coin development has also been very positive going from 316 percent up to 372 so quite happy with those numbers and if you have a look at the graph we can see there is a small retracement it was a bit higher earlier in this week so um, but enough and stable enough and there's definitely a good direction on the graph at the moment if we have a look at Bitcoin versus um, USD or USDT, basically the same here. We uh, left last week the Bitcoin around 19,000 mark. And since then it was uh, reaching again up past uh, 22,000, not exactly up to 23. And since then we had a bit of a market and that was especially uh, the inflation numbers that came in out of US has hit a lot of currencies and obviously also cryptocurrency here. And at the moment we are now back at the 20,000 mark. Elevate Pass, still no profit. And we have explained why exactly that is. So at least the weekly profit, there is still things that are working. And that is also one of the things that the CEO, Raphael here for Elevate Pass, um, sent out on a video this week. And obviously saying that it is still plenty of ways of how you can make money with Elevate Pass. We'll make sure that we put the link um, in the description in the video below. But basically, he is now telling you also there's new sale pages for the educational projects will make it easier for you to sell those. And they are completely separate. So it has nothing to do with the trading side of it. So you can please go ahead with that. So uh, and you will still get your I believe it's 40 percent uh, out of that one. A toolbox for education so the new income source he is going to explain a bit on what is happening there 
And now there's also a new back office Lite and Pro um, for the people that are just uh, in on the educational site and hasn't bought any advertising packages. So definitely a video to watch and uh, the yield notes, or sorry, the Elevate Pass team is still very much there uh, despite everything that has happened. Who is also here is obviously we uh, did a video last week so on the uh, Trillion Trillion platform how to get started and definitely uh, this was also meant as a bit of a tutorial for the uh, previous Pariva platform members moving over to Trillion and how you can actually get started and set up. So now at the time that this video is coming out we do believe that it's going to be a bit too late to get in on the early bird part because the deadline, the previous deadline that we know about right now is on the 15th of September, it will finish. It means that you will go in and you will buy these things up at 5 cents and then it will be doubled at 10 once you uh, stake within the Trillion platform here. Um, that might be extended, we are not exactly sure. There is a um, um, video call so with the CEO and uh, we will know more about it so that is taking care uh, being taken care of this evening uh, around uh, eight o'clock Central European time Thursday and as this video comes out Friday morning and we have to tape it a bit sooner we unfortunately don't have that information but we will try and share it on our uh, media platforms when we have it. Don't forget that you also have still the uh, staking and you can obviously go in after that particular time also. You just don't get the double up of the uh, previous investment that you have done with the staking here. So staking is still short term and long term. So four weeks, nine weeks, 26 or 52 weeks. And obviously we know that a lot of people have gone with the 52 weeks because you get a higher yield of 50%. Uh, but you can go and have a look at the video and see for yourself if this is something that you want to get involved in. Moving on to Solar Farm 2, it has been a very strange week here. So the developers has definitely uh, panicked a bit. So with the big sell-off that we have seen, and that also meant that they have actually done three shooting stars in the past week. So first one on 10th September at 25%, and then consecutive it has come in at the 12th of September at 35%. And the last one we have now seen come in was on the 14th of September at 45%. So the TVL is dropping, uh, as you will see. Uh, but at the same time, we have continued to uh, do the compounding. We have actually made the 480 that it takes in order to get the total bonus up to 30%, plus the 14.28 as it is already. So we've been compounding for more than a month straight. Uh, and even us, we had a problem uh, keeping up the uh, panel value in this uh, week too, similar to last week. So let's have a look at the uh, numbers and see where we ended up. So the TVL was at 184 last week, and this week is now balancing around the 100. It was below at one point, um, and then it's now at uh, 100, and we'll see where it ends up later on. But that is, again, a decrease at 45%. The pounds owned is okay, it's up by 100, 186%. And then the panel value is uh, down, so we simply haven't been able to uh, beat the inflation here, so down by 37%. And also, as you can see, the exchange rate is uh, looking the same way, minus 353%. So um, pretty uh, massive losses in this uh, week. If we look at the BNB versus the US dollars, again, it looks very much like the Bitcoin. We left the BNB around $270 mark last week. Since then, it's been touching the $300 mark, and now it's dropped again down to about $275, where it's currently hovering. If we have a look at Solar Farm 1, you'll see the TVL also has dropped here. So it came from 22.8 down to 18.3, so uh, another decrease in about 20%. And then the pounds owned is 159%, so that is reasonable. But still, despite that, we can see both the panel value and the daily rewards are down by 18% on that particular week. So going to the solar versus uh, BNB coin here, Again, we see the same pattern as we've seen with the Bitcoin trend. So it was going up in the beginning, uh, end of last week and uh, over the weekend. 
And then when the bad news came in here, we have seen a bit of a drop and now it's basically stabilized. We'll have to see where it's going to go in the weeks to come. AI marketing, well, it's a pain. We don't get any information out whatsoever. 14 days again of August has gone by and we don't really see uh, any change in this at all, unfortunately. So uh, all we have to do is sit and wait uh, for the next meeting that we don't even know if it's coming or not. So, but it is planned and scheduled for the 20th of September. If we take a look at the uh, profit retriever for this particular week, we still have our 18 profit retrievers running and one of them has crashed this week. So this is the New Zealand Swiss ranks. It has actually had some issues before. So uh, about a month, month and a half ago, uh, we had some quick trades on that particular one. It lost a bit on it, um, but it didn't crash completely. And obviously we let it run. We changed some settings and uh, now we can see it has really crashed. So the account basically went from the 10, 11,000 it was at and then down to um, zero. And what has happened here is that the currency um, trended. So the New Zealand uh, against the Swiss francs so basically uh, lost out here. And we didn't have enough of a retracement during the graph, as you can see here, very small spikes. And it, as it was a buy at the top of the hill here, uh, it ended up and uh, setting more and more trades and basically ran out of money at the end of the day. So all you can do is have a look and uh, take those numbers in, figure out how you can try and avoid this next time. And there's obviously a couple of ways to do this. Either you increase the uh, spacing in between the trades or you reduce the lot size. Uh, obviously it would be nice if you can just adjust the uh, MA, the moving average, so that it will follow. But when you analyze the signals, it is following quite well. But unfortunately, uh, the, um, the retracements that the profit retriever needs in order to be profitable at all times uh, never came. And uh, you can see it's going forward at the bottom here of the graph but definitely uh, too late and either we should have put uh, twice the amount of money in there we will have to uh, have a closer look this signal was not part of the copy trading um, setup so that also means that uh, nobody has lost any money out on this apart from uh, on our demo account uh, we didn't have that on our live uh, trading account either it was still being monitored after the last issues we had with it but this is again to show that this is not uh, just a money, money printing service here. Things can go wrong. They will go wrong at some uh, given points. And that's why we have so many different robots running. So over time, uh, we can take these hits when they come in. If we have a look at the profit retriever for week 36, then we see the top five EAs. We actually have the US 30 index back on top. It has been in a big drawdown for a long, long time here and came in and cashed up uh, about $1,585 or 15.8%. And we know this one uh, is doing quite well when it hits the, the right trend. And then in between, it's not really making uh, a lot of money. Apart from that, we can see the Euro USD has done well with 7.1%, the US Swiss francs 66 the same for the uh, Euro Japanese. And then the US CAT has also done quite well with 6.3%. So overall $4,244 and 8.5%. So a very good week overall. And uh, definitely we're going to monitor and see if this is going to continue. So we mentioned earlier in the uh, news report here also that the copy trading and link accounts from the Expert Forex has been launched and they were launched on Monday. We have made a video here now of where you can find everything. So don't forget, you have to be a premium forum member and we show you where you can go in, where you can get that set up, where you will also find the different links and where you will find the program that you have to add to your MT4 platform in order to start copying these signals. It's all there in the video and the description is uh, as always with the video also links there. So you can go and find everything in one place. Last week or a couple of weeks ago, maybe here now, we also had this video in here and we were showing you um, exactly some of the signals that was in there. We were just going through them from the FX Blue book side 
and showing this is good and bad signals and we hope that this might also be able to help you to determine which signals that you want to be in on and which ones you're going to keep away from. So uh, maybe have a look at this particular video also before you sign up to any of the signals here. And that's what we had for you in this week's news report. As you can see, we have plenty of news, uh, which is most of it good news. And definitely we are very happy to see that yield notes is recovering. And uh, God knows what's going to happen next week. But definitely we hope you're going to join in with us and we'll uh, have a look together. So see you on the next video. Bye bye. I hope you enjoyed our news report. So please don't forget to like and add your comment below as we would love to get your feedback. But before you go, make sure you subscribe to the channel and don't forget to keep the notification bell turned on. That way, you will never miss any of our future videos. We hope to see you back on this channel very soon.